The X100V is, for many of us, the best camera Fujifilm has ever made. But now you cannot buy it unless you are willing to pay a premium price. This camera has been out of stock everywhere for months. Why it is happening? And should you swallow the overinflated market price and buy this amazing little camera anyway? It's been two years since I reviewed the X100V on my channel. Two years ago the camera was available everywhere and a few months later some lightly used examples began to appear on the used market. Fast forward to 2021 and I was looking at two of these used cameras being sold for almost half the price. I remember thinking that although I really like the camera I don't need it right now and so it makes sense to wait and grab one for even less sometime later. The prices must go further down, I thought. What actually happened is that various supply chains got disrupted and at the same time photographers all over the world started to appreciate what the X100V brings to the table. First of all is the stunning image quality. The 26 megapixel X-Trans 4 sensor is capable of producing detailed and vibrant photos. The camera also has an impressive autofocus system which allows you to capture fast moving subjects with ease. The fixed 23mm f2 lens allows you to capture everything from sweeping landscapes to intimate portraits. The camera has the famous Fuji hybrid viewfinder, built in flash and the LCD flip ups easily for those famous hip shots. And all of that is topped up by one of the standard features of the X100V, which is the leaf shutter. Not only is it quieter than a classic curtain style shutter, but mainly allows for fast flash sync speeds, which are useful for lightening shadows when shooting portraits in bright daylight. When all of this is packaged in a compact and portable retro inspired design, which not only pays homage to classic rangefinder cameras, but is also highly functional, and the camera is manufactured to high Leica-like standard, with the option to make it completely weather resistant, you will get the perfect camera for street, travel and everyday family photography. I was a fool not to buy it for a reasonable price when I could. And now it may never happen because Fujifilm stopped accepting new orders for the X100V, officially due to high demand for this great camera, but the XE4 and XS10 also are in short supply. Something is happening at Fujifilm factories and the result is that we can't get the cameras we want for the official retail price. And so the question remains, should you accept the inflated market price and buy this amazing little camera right now? Should you put your email on various waiting lists with the hope of getting lucky? Or should you risk buying a broken unit with the hope of making it work again? All the options we have are either uncertain or too expensive and although it is you who decides what you do with your money, hear me out. The X100V was released in March 2020. Its predecessor, the X100F, in February 2017. Fujifilm has stopped accepting new orders for the current generation and in few months it will be three years since its release. So I think they may be just fulfilling current orders for the X100V and will soon move on to the next version. Will the X106 uh, be released in only a few months? And what will it look like? The current body is pretty much perfect and the lens is plenty sharp but I would love to see it with the new 40 megapixel sensor from X-H2, IBIS from X-S10 and the screen from the X-E4. And I would pre-order such a camera right off the bat. But if they'll go wild and make the X-106 with a built-in 80mm f2 lens, I will camp in front of the Fujifilm House Photography here in London. An 18mm lens combined with the 40 megapixel sensor could provide a digital crop at 23, 35 and maybe even 50mm. And will place the camera in direct competition to the Leica Q, Q2 and even the upcoming Q3. Until then, the only other option is to get the 18mm 1.4 lens and mount it on the new X-T5.